Hello guys and welcome to Julian's lab. Today I want to configure this access point. It's an AP1242 with, uh, with an IP address of 10.0.0.50 with an SSID of AP1242. Um, yeah, that's going to be my way in. I already have this router, router 1, configured to the internet and I'm connected to it. It's called 851, and I have my console cable to the access point right now. So let's get busy. All right. Um, so around so you guys could see the configuration. Um, enable secret, username, Cisco password, this Cisco as well. Interface dot eleven radio one, which is the two point four interface. Nothing is configured under underneath. Um, the other interface, the five point eight megahertz, is not configured as well. Um, the fast Ethernet zero, nothing is configured underneath either. Uh, interface BVI one, which is going to be the IP. Uh, we're going to put this IP address of ten dot zero dot zero dot fifty. Is going to be the um, access point address. HTTP server. It means that we could connect on this access point uh, through a browser once we're going to have an IP address. And here are the console line and VTY, which means the console line that's the one that I'm connected to, and VTY is the telnet connection. So let's get going. Host name, we want to put the host name AP AP twelve forty two. We're going to go under dot eleven this ID AP twelve forty two. Oh, then application open in guest mode all right one thing that I forgot to show you guys uh, the network doesn't appear right here I could refresh it my maybe 1242 is not there because it's not enabled yet so Interface eleven radio zero SSID twelve forty two. All right, nothing yet. Um, in my case, I have just one antenna. I don't have two antennas. I can configure my antenna transmit right which is also the primary I could do an up arrow and antenna um, receive right um, I have a rubber antenna and it has a gain of 3 dBi I could make those changes as well so antenna gain minus three um, we could choose a channel we could either type the frequency or the channel number um, you want to see what frequencies you have around you and you want to stay away from them so if channel one is used you want to go for channel six or channel eleven if channel six is used you want to go for channel eleven or channel one so in my case, I already know that I have this on channel 1. I'm going to choose, in my case, channel 11. Uh, we want to put station roll, station roll root. It's going to be my root AP and bridge group 1. All right, that's under the 2.4. Uh, 
1.4 interface. Now let's go under the interface of BVI1 and put IP address of 10.0.0.cc the subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 all right all right my prompt got back with me um bridge one route IP without this command uh, even if you get associated with radio you're not going to get access to the LAN interface oh one thing that I forgot was to go under the interface dot radio zero put no shot here um, same thing Okay, as you guys could see, I have the radio, uh, that 11 radio zero coming up. Okay, so show IP interface, sorry about that, show IP interface brief. Um, our BVI is up. Um, that 11 radio 0 is up that 11 radio 1 is down because we didn't touch it so let's look my my AP 1242 is up and running I'm going to open up a browser right now as I'm connected to the A51 um, let's go to Google Google, we don't put anything here. So yeah, we're connected. Now let's swap from this one and connect. We're going to see here shortly that we've got associated to this access point. As you can see, we've got station 1242 associated. That's my MAC address of my computer right here, my, my laptop. And let's just put something else on Google. So we, of course, were wrapping going. And now um, we could also connect to this access point 2.0.0.60. Cisco and Cisco. So as you guys could see right here, we have a client which is my computer right now it's got some error messages you guys could use this interface as well of course but the command line it's important so everything is going all right thank you for watching and come back for more videos